hello, hello, and welcome back to the show where I prove to you that you need math skills to play a children's card game. So let's just get into it. Today's card is Dual Caster Mage. For two red and one, you get a 2 2 human wizard with flash, and when it enters the battlefield, you get to copy target instant or sorcery spell and choose new targets for the copy. So, right away, seems like a pretty good card. You can use it to copy opponent spells, you can use it to copy your spells, but it can also get chaotic when you use copy spells. Now, I'm not going to try to explain it right here, I'm just going to go straight to the battlefield and show you what I mean. Here we are, a wonderful battlefield. We have our battlefield, our hand, and off to the side we have the stack, because we do need to know the order of stuff as it's cast. On the battlefield we have grizzly bears, because why not? Who doesn't love a good bear? And in our hand we have dual caster mage and twin flame, which is a sorcery for one in red that allows you to create a token of a creature you control, and that token gains haste. You have to exile it at the next end step. So we're going to cast our twin flame targeting grizzly bears and that will go on the stack. In response to that we will play our dual caster mage which comes in allowing us to copy a target instant or sorcery spell. That goes on the stack targeting twin flame. Now we'll allow that to resolve and we get a copy of twin flame which we'll use to then copy our dual caster mage. That goes on the stack. If that resolves we get a copy of dual caster mage. But when the token enters, it has the same ability, meaning that we get to copy another target spell, being Twin Flame. So we get a Twin Flame, which we can use to copy one of our dual caster mages, creating another one, and another one, and another, and another, etc, etc, until the battlefield is flooded with dual caster mages. Now to end this loop, all you have to do is choose not to copy Twin Flame when your last dual caster mage comes in. Simple. And that's a combo. Now, you can easily slot this into a mono red EDH deck, and for redundancy's sake, you can also throw in Heat Shimmer, which is simply a Twin Flame for one more mana. But if we add blue to this, the color that I generally associated with copying creatures, we get much more combo pieces like soul and identity for two blue and four you get to copy a creature you control and cipher unfortunately your copies of stolen identity you make with dual caster don't have the cipher ability but if you use faded infatuation instead every time you copy it you'll get a scry two effect if it's on your turn meaning you can essentially scry through your whole deck until you get the exact two cards you want on top of it if we had green we get a recurrable copy spell and spitting image with its retrace effect but you can get the same effect with cackling counterpart and flashback or the newly printed in guilds of ravnica quasi duplicate and it jumpstart ability you know making tons of artifact copies is the way you want to go then sahili's artistry is a great card you just copy your dual caster and any artifact you control with the other mode and bam you want 100 soul rings you got 100 soul rings it gets even crazier with Rite of Replication, although mana intensive, if you kick it and then copy it with the dual caster, your copy has the kicker effect, so you'll get five dual caster mages, which then can all copy the kicked Rite of Replication, making 25 dual caster mages, and exponentially more and more mages. But if you want stuff to be really crazy, use Tempt with Reflections. You copy a creature, and each opponent can copy that creature as well. For each opponent that does, you get an additional copy of that creature. So if you play Tempt with Reflections and flash in your dual caster copying Tempt with Reflections, all your opponents get dual casters, and for each one, you then get a dual caster. You know, if all the dual caster copy Tempt with Reflections and you get more dual casters giving your opponent dual casters, which can give you dual casters, which give them more dual casters, then just don't do it. Just don't do it. I'm sorry I brought it up. Just let's not. But the issue with all the blue spells is that your mages don't have haste. But you can skirt around that by using cards that give a shit about enter the battlefield effects, like Impact Tremors and Alter the Brood. Cards that, as a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you can slowly ping or mill your opponents to death. If you don't have those, no problem. You can use Sacrifice effects in replacement of them again to ping or mill your opponents to death. But that's not all with Dual Caster Mage. 
Similarly, you can also use blink effects that bring back creatures immediately to get tons of enter the battlefield triggered. Here we'll use cloud shift, it's essentially the same pattern as a copy spell. You cast cloud shift to target a creature, in response you flash in dual caster mage targeting cloud shift, copy a cloud shift blinks dual caster mage allowing you to copy the initial cloud shift again and so on and so on until you get endless enter the battlefield triggers. You can use a similar technique to get as much mana as you want by using ghostly flicker. You cast ghostly flicker targeting two permanents you control in response you flash in dual caster mage making a copy of ghostly flicker. With that copy you target dual caster mage and a basic land flickering both they come back immediately, you can tap that land for mana, and dual caster entering can copy the initial ghostly flicker again, repeating the process allowing you to get tons and tons of mana. Now, dual caster mage isn't the only creature that you can use for this combo. In Dominaria, we are given a blue version in Naru Mehe, Master Wizard who has essentially the same ability dual caster mage with one catch that she is legendary, which means if a copy of Nehru comes in the battlefield, you have to get rid of one because of the legendary rule. But you still get to exploit enter the battlefield triggers with stuff like impact tremors and altar of the brood. So keep that in mind. And that's it. That's what we got for dual caster mage. I think this might be my favorite magic combo in the game. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried this? Are you going to try this? And as always, if you like combo breakdown or any other shit I do on this channel, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share to all your friends. And until next time, I will we'll see you right here on the internet.